Welcome to our journey through history. Today, we're unraveling the mysteries of one of the world's most astonishing feats of engineering, the Great Wall of China. Let's embark on a historical adventure to discover how this monumental structure was built and the purposes it served. The Great Wall, a symbol of China's ancient civilization, stretches over 13,000 miles. But how did it all begin? The construction started in the 7th century BC. Dynasties like the Qin, Han, and Ming played significant roles in its expansion. Imagine thousands of workers, soldiers, peasants, and even prisoners, toiling under harsh conditions to build this massive structure. Building the wall was an engineering marvel. Large bricks, stones, tamped earth, and wood were used, depending on the terrain. The workers carried these materials manually or by mules, across mountains, deserts, and plains. It's a testament to their resilience and determination. But why was the Great Wall built? Primarily, it was for defense, protecting the Chinese states from invasions and raids by nomadic tribes from the north. But that's not all. It also boosted trade, controlled immigration, and even helped in imposing duties on goods transported along the Silk Road. Interestingly, the Great Wall also had watchtowers, troop barracks, garrison stations, and signaling capabilities through smoke or fire. It was a well-thought-out military defense system. This way is China. This way is Mongolia, the nomadic lands. However, building the wall came at a great cost. Thousands lost their lives during its construction, earning it the nickname, the longest cemetery on earth. Their sacrifices are a poignant reminder of the human cost behind this historical masterpiece. Contrary to popular belief, the Great Wall isn't a single, continuous structure. It's a series of walls and fortifications, built, rebuilt, and maintained between the 5th century BC and the 16th century. Small walls were built by various states, which were later connected and fortified by the first emperor of China, Qin Shi Huang, in the 3rd century BC. But this was just the beginning. The most extensive construction occurred under the Ming dynasty between the 14th and 17th centuries. Building the wall was a colossal task, often under brutal conditions. Workers faced extreme temperatures, and many died from exhaustion, starvation, or accidents. The bodies of the deceased were sometimes buried within the wall itself. The wall's primary purpose was defense, a bulwark against the nomadic tribes like the Mongols. But it was more than just a defensive barrier. It was a symbol of the emperor's strength, a deterrent to potential rebels, and a psychological barrier between civilization and barbarism. Despite its grandeur, the wall wasn't always effective. The Mongols breached it several times, and the Manchus crossed it in 1644, leading to the fall of the Ming Dynasty. This raises questions about the true efficacy of the wall. The Mongol Empire, under leaders like Genghis Khan and later Kublai Khan, repeatedly invaded China, finding weak points in the wall or bribing gatekeepers. These invasions eventually led to the establishment of the Yuan Dynasty in China. In 1449, during the Tuma Crisis, the Mongol leader Yizhen Taishi captured the Zhengtong Emperor of the Ming Dynasty, demonstrating that the wall was not an absolute safeguard. This was a significant military failure and a psychological blow to the Ming Dynasty. Another critical moment was in 1644 when the Manchus breached the Great Wall at Shanghai Pass. This breach led to the fall of the Ming Dynasty and the rise of the Qing Dynasty, an era that would last until 1912. These battles around the wall were not just military confrontations, they were pivotal turning points in Chinese history, shaping dynasties, cultures, and the very course of China's development. Today, the Great Wall stands as a testament to these turbulent times. It symbolizes not just China's architectural genius and strength but also the countless battles, both won and lost, that shaped a nation. It's a monument to history's complexity and the ever-changing tides of power. Thank you for joining us in uncovering the battle-scarred history of the Great Wall of China. Remember to like, 
share, and subscribe for more historical explorations. Together, let's keep unearthing the stories that shaped our world. Until next time, keep seeking the truth behind the legends.